That was the Gladiator, no wait, the Wichita Gladiator Dash out here in Wichita, Kansas. Stick around after this video and we'll give you my thoughts about the race, the terrain, and everything else. Stay tuned.
Hey guys, thanks for watching that video. That was the Wichita Gladiator Dash out in Wichita, Kansas. It was a fun little race, you know, it was a little 5K. Well, it was just under 5K. It was actually um, 2.8 miles. 2.85 miles if, according to my watch so it was just under three miles you know the location was at a park it was called let me look at my notes here real quick it's called Sedwick Park County Park so it was at a park as if you notice the, the when you watch the video there was a lot of people walking around and stuff like that so you know it was at a park pretty good sized park too with some lakes and everything like that uh, location was easy to get to on maps you know, my only, my only, my only gripe so far up to date is it wasn't necessarily well marked with signs to get there because it's, the park is actually pretty big and I came in through one um, entrance to the park and when you get there, there's no signs pointing, you know, the, the, the race is that way. Uh, you know, we actually turned the wrong way, I had to turn around and go back and then when I saw it off in the distance, you know, I actually didn't know where to turn in to get into that venue point for the park. So, you know, if you're... From out of town, it might take you a minute to find it. I know we had to circle back, you know, actually exited the park and then came right back in to realize where it was we were supposed to turn in. So that'd be my only gripe was that the, the sign to get to the, the, the race itself wasn't well marked. But, you know, I got there early enough to be able to avoid anything like that. You know, with parking, you know, you know, plenty of parking. Once once I found where to go, uh, plenty of parking. It was free, so you just found a spot to 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 get you know parked and get set up. So as usual, you know, parked right next to the venue, right next to the entrance. That way, I could just get set up right there. Uh, check in, check in was very easy. You know, it was again like I've said before in my other races. One of the reasons I like doing these early races, the elite division and all that. So I'm racing first so I can get parked and get checked in. And the check-in was really easy. You know, you get in, give them your name, and they give you a manila, 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 the uh, packet. And in there, it's got your racing bib, uh, which is really cool because your bib also has your timing chip attached to the backside. So that, that was pretty cool. And then you got your different uh, bands. You know, I, I signed up for the elite division. So you get a gold band and then you get a, Came with that came with the VIP band, so you can go to the VIP area of the of the event, uh, the venue itself, and then a band if you were gonna have a beer or anything like that, twenty one over band. So you had everything in there, and also some coupons to some local uh, vendors in the area. So you know, pretty pretty easy, pretty simple, and to the point. Check ins always. I love check in when it's that easy. The venue itself, it was cool. You know, it, it is run. Uh, it is, th this event is, uh, there's a hundred percent, all the proceeds go to local organizations, uh, in the Wichita area. And, you know, it goes to like child advocacy of Sedwick County. So, you know, they don't make any money off this thing. They have a lot of good, uh, of sponsors to help put this thing on. And so, you know, it, it's very, um, very family friendly, friendly. You can tell the difference with this with the atmosphere of this one compared to other ones. You just, I, you know, I saw a lot of first timers out there, a lot of um, um, groups, whether it was like Boy Scout groups or church groups or groups running in memory of, you know, a loved one who passed away or whatnot. I saw a lot of different groups that, you know, you normally don't see at some of the bigger OCR races. So, you know, it was a, but it was fun. The, 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 the vibe was very fun, very kicked back. Uh, I, I would actually, you know, uh, say it's, it's similar to if you've run the Rugged Maniac uh, OCR. Similar type of vibe as far as the venue and just the atmosphere itself. That, that kind of had that vibe. So that's what I kind of, you know, compared it to. Uh, but it was, you know, it's a good, it was a good, it was a good venue, especially for first timers that were thinking about uh, OCR racing. Uh, you know, I'll get into that in just a second. Uh, but I had a good time, got to, you know, meet different people, talk to different people. I guess I had a different look compared to everyone, a lot of the other racers that were out there. You can kind of tell the difference because I was more preparing and everyone's kind of just hanging out. So it was kind of, it was kind of neat. You know, of course, also it being different coming from a weekend before uh, up in Frontline OCR and then coming to do this one. You know, it's just, it's just different, just different. Still cool. It just, it was just different. Um, you know, the, other than that, you know, the next thing was the terrain, you know, you kind of saw it on the video, uh, not much in the way of terrain, not much to look at it. it it's at a park. 
So either running in, in, in the flat, you know, there was only one hill. They make use of that mega hill at the very beginning. Um, other than that, you know, it's just flat uh, terrain throughout the whole thing. Just a couple little, uh, you know, man-made hills to run up and down. Um, but, you know, it, it was pretty much that. You know, like I said earlier, it was it's only a 2.85 mile run. So it was just under three miles. Uh, but it was still cool, you know. Um, the one thing I did suffer... Yeah, as I was running this thing, because I had made a goal for myself to run under 30 minutes. and But lo and behold, I started to, to develop shin splints halfway through this thing. And I couldn't figure out why, because I haven't had shin splints since high school running track back then. But then thinking about it, I was looking online, what causes it, whatever. And, you know, it, it kept, you know, running on on hard surfaces. And then once I watched the video and I started editing the whole thing, I realized I was running on a lot of pavement and I didn't have the right shoes. I had my... My Solomon OCR shoes, which got the the, the the thicker threads and everything on them, and not more of a running shoe. If you notice, well, I noticed a lot of the runners that run in this thing, a lot of the, the new people and whatnot, running, running in regular shoes, um, made for pavement running. So that's, you know, but again, I didn't know we were going to be running on pavement. So if you run this next year and you're new, here's a, here's a little tip for you. Plan on right running in regular shoes because you'd be running in on some asphalt at some point. Um, and the, the course was well marked. You know, there was a bunch of, you really couldn't see it on the video. Uh, as like in my other videos, you see the, the flags and, you know, the course marking is pretty obvious. And this one, there's little orange flags scattered, you know, pretty much marked the entire race. And I think I almost went off the course one time. Uh, but the the volunteer was awesome. He pointed me in the right direction. You know, with that being said, man, the volunteers were freaking awesome. They were all very much into it, very much cheering you on. And, you know, so it it just makes that the event such as this so much more fun is when the volunteers are in on it. So, you know, hats off to you all that if you're watching this video, you know, thanks to every single one of you that were pointing us in the right direction on where to go cheering us on. It's uh, volunteers like you is what makes doing OCR so much fun. Um, the obstacles, not much in the way of obstacles, you know, as far as anything technical as what I've been doing up to this point. Um, you know, it was, it was, no, there was no, there was only one set of monkey bars at the very end. Other than that, it was just a lot of low crawls, jumping over some things or, or running over some hills or whatnot. Um, only one sandbag carry. So it wasn't too much of a, um, a very technical, a very hard race. Um, but, you know, that's it's a good thing, you know. Then that's what I wanted to lead into with this is this is a very good race for people that are, are new to OCR or wanting to get into it, but, you know, they want they don't want to go all in right off the bat. You know, because like you've seen my other videos, I've been, you know, Mythic Race and Frontline and Spartan and Tough Mudder and so all these a lot bigger events, you know, with a lot more technical obstacles. Uh, this is a very good one to see if this is what you want to get into. It kind of gives you a little bit of everything, some hills, some crawling, uh, barbed wire type stuff, running through, you know, wading through some lake and whatnot. Um, so it was cool. If you're, if, uh, it's, it's a good intro for people looking to get into OCR. This is a very good race um to, to get into i had a bunch of people coming up to me you know first timers you know one guy was like oh man i've never done anything like this and i said nah you'll be fine you, you're gonna have a good time uh and then of course they asked me you know well, have i done some and i said yeah this is actually my third one out of 10 this year and of course they're like oh my gosh you know you, you travel for these things and like, yeah, yeah, you know, actually, I was, last weekend I was in Chicago, you know, for Frontline. In two weeks, I'll be in Colorado. And then two weeks after that, I'll be in Ohio for War X. And, you know, they were like, oh, my gosh. You know, I said, but, you know, the, I, I do these things because they're fun to do and whatnot. And, and the great and keep you in shape and whatnot. And and so, you know, maybe we'll see that dude out in other, other races. But, yeah, definitely this was a, a good good race for for people who are looking to get into ocr this is a very good entry level uh race and like i said earlier for me it was just to keep keep me loose and everything like that just to go run in something else to see what i could work on and and what i need to um get myself mentally prepared for although it's kind of hard with this particular race because it's at a park and there's no you know elevation changes or whatnot uh, but it was just keep me loose because of what's coming up in a couple weeks and uh so, you know, 
just something to do and also support local OCR races. And that's what it's all about. I, you know, supporting these guys, especially something like this organization with, with all the proceeds go to local charities and stuff like that. So, you know, it, it, and I guess they've been around for a while. Um, this one, this one race that was done, she said something like this was her seventh year. So I didn't realize they've been around that long, but so, you know, but definitely a fun race, definitely something that, you know, if you're looking to get into it, start with this one. It's a very good intro into OCR. And last but not least, it's the swag you get. Um, very cool shirt, you know, very, very, uh, it's very comfortable, nice material. But hopefully you can see this. I mean, let me get my watch to make sure I can see what I'm looking at here. Of course, I'm not hitting the right button. There we go. And this is the, this is the shirt for it. Hopefully you can see that. Pretty nice design. You know, just got the little swords there in front. 2024, Wichita Gladiator dash nothing on the back just very comfortable cotton shirt you know something to wear cool and it's in it's not in black it's in a dark blue which is that's a bonus that one's awesome and of course the metal metal is pretty simple you know but i like it i i, I like this one just after i stared at it for a little bit um you know you can see on there it's got the uh which talk later to dash the sim the abbreviation there 2024 on the back it's pretty neat because it's actually it says the park on there and it's got because i ran in the elite division you have to look at the very bottom right there the elite wave so pretty nice little 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 metal to go on the rack there um very simple again because they're, they're all on donations and everything like that you know they can't go crazy with their design but you know it's pretty cool not gonna complain another one off the list for this year um what else I don't think I got anything else. Um, but that's it, man. That's all I got on this one. I uh, hope you liked the video. If you liked it, make sure you do that. Subscribe to this thing. I got a lot of stuff. But you know what you're supposed to do, man? You got to do the clicks, man. Do the clicks. Do the like, the subscribe, the share, and everything else. Comment. Let me know what you thought about this thing. If you saw yourself on this video, leave a comment, man, because there was a couple of young people out there that were asking if I would do these videos. So if you, you're watching this one, you know, thinking talking about you guys the, as we were walking through the, the lake there towards the very end. Other than that, guys, stay tuned. I got some more videos coming. And, of course, in two weeks from now is Colorado Springs, the Spartan Trifecta. Ooh, that one's going to be tough. But until next time, guys, keep training and go watch one of my other videos. Make sure you subscribe. Take care, guys.